Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about how to create such a texture roller for 3D printing. Okay, so this is an update video to answer a few questions. Okay, so I delete here everything. Okay, so we need a texture for this, a black and white texture is the best um, on a square canvas. So this one here has uh, 600 by 600 pixels um, and yeah, seamless, tileable texture. You can yeah, find your own texture here. Okay, so download it and then here in Nomad Sculpt we need a primitive. So add primitive. So you see here a checkbox for the UVs. Set this checkbox to get a, a default UV for your primitive. And then add a primitive cylinder. Okay. So here at the top you find here the caps. But first I show you a thing here with the inspector. So press inspector and you see here the UV map of the cylinder. So you um, have the uh, caps, top, bottom, and here um, yeah, wrapped around the rest of the UV map. And here's the seam. So when you deselect here the caps, the UV map changes and it's a square UV map. So this is what we want. So here let's uh, scale the cylinder and you see the UV map is updated. So something here like this. Okay. So let's validate this cylinder thing here. So now I turn on the wireframe and we need a much higher topology for this. So here use multi-res and subdivide the cylinder up to maybe 300,000, 400,000, a million. The higher the better. Okay, so now let's apply the, the texture and for this we need the opacity slot here, this one. So press here and upload your texture. Okay, so da, 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 da. let's see the view mode. Okay, this is what we get. Here in the texture settings, we can change here the scaling. And it's also possible to uniform scale off and um, change here the scaling uh, like this and to make it look nice and fit here the whole thing. So okay. So I use this. And here you can use also the translation uh, to rotate it around the, the whole thing and or bring it here in position. Okay. So, for demonstration I clone now this object. Clone. A second one, I hide this one. So, and now why do I not use tri planner. So here you see here at the moment this is for UVs and when I press on it and change it to tri planner I have to zoom a little bit in. I hope you can see it. So here are the textures from the tri planner overlapping. So here is a hardness slider 
And here you can change the overlapping setting, how it works. So this is why Tri Planner is not the thing you need here. So, and this is, yeah, this is uh, on every seam here, you get the hardness thing, uh, the problem. So you need the UV map for this. So, so our, the topology is fine and everything is fine and now we need the mist menu and here for the reproject settings mask to opacity, uh, opacity to mask. So we get from this opacity texture a mask. So press reproject from itself. Okay. So this texture we don't need anymore, so we can delete it. Then here we use the mask tool to get control over the mask. So it's possible to sharpen the whole thing here, sharpen. And it's also possible to invert the mask. So to so get the negative, positive direct, um, of the mask like you want. Okay, the next thing is the extracting. And there was, there was a question why I extract inside the cylinder. So maybe here is a setting for plus minus and um, only positive direction. And so maybe the main cylinder is, yeah, it touches only the, um, uh, where I am. Ach so, um, sorry, I have to um, use the mask here for this. So when the, the touching points are not really touching the surface of this other thing, then, it, then there are maybe problems for the Boolean. So it's better to use positive negative direction and be sure that the meshes are overlapping. I hope it's understandable. So, okay. And um, I use smoothness here, the setting for smoothness to avoid the jaggy edges. So here, sharp border. So then I extract the whole thing. I go back to the cylinder mesh and I clear the mask. So for the cylinder, we need now the end caps again and um, to close the holes. So like this here, close holes and it's fine. So, and now select both meshes and choose Boolean. So now everything should be fine. And here you, you see for the rendering here, you think here the edges are jaggy, but when you turn off smooth shading, you see your mesh is absolutely sharp and clean. So maybe use a higher resolution, but this is what you get. So and now let's look inside the cylinder. So I use here the hide tool. So now we see the inside of the cylinder and it looks like everything worked fine. So this is what we want. Okay, 
So that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.